This video is sponsored by Chatdash. Are you an agency owner or currently building chatbots? Then you might want to listen to this. My name is Lovre, a chatbot developer from Sweden, and today I'm going to showcase Chatdash. Chatdash is a platform where agency owners can connect their chatbots and give bot access to their customers. Even though this video was made in collaboration with fine people over at Chatdash, this is an honest review and I can say whatever I want. But without further ado, let's explore this software. So when you log into this website, you are greeted by this massive text which says voice flow or OpenAI dashboard branded for your agency. So if we scroll down, we can see what the benefits of using Chatdash is and we can explore some key features like here we have a preview of the dashboard for VoiceFlow chatbot and how it can look with the OpenAI assistant so we can change between VoiceFlow and OpenAI so here we can see uh, that clients can access the knowledge bases uh, and we can manage our client and assign different projects to each client. And you can also brand your chatbot with white label and just ordinary branding. And they also have their own chatbot here, which is the Chatdash AI, where we can ask questions, join their Discord, etc. Um, so if I were to ask a question, I can ask. What plans do you currently offer? We can ask questions. And we can see that Chatdash currently offers three plans. A free starter plan, a professional plan and a premium plan. Which we can see right here. So here we have the subscription plans. And they also feature an FAQs page on their main site where we can see some frequently que asked questions and answers to them. So here we are at the login screen. You can see that we can log in with email, but also we have the option to log in using a login ID, which is what we can give to our customers for their specific login so that they can access their own dashboards. So when you log into Chatdash as an agency owner, you are greeted by the client management tab. Here you can manage all of your clients. You can add new ones, give them access to their chatbots and their projects. And you can also preview their own personalized dashboard. But now let's explore the client dashboard. So inside of the client dashboard, you can see here on the left that we have analytics, transcripts and the knowledge base, but you can add or remove categories from the menu inside of the client settings. But first we are going to go over the analytics tab. So here we can see all of the analytics. So interactions, uh, unique users, unique sessions. We can see graphs of the number of engagements the user have had with your assistant. We can see recognition rates. We can see how many sessions, how many users and a graph uh, depending on which day and we can see top intents which I have none or tokens which I have none uh, but the thing that's really excites me is that, is that we can edit this layout here so we can for instance take the total interaction and we can drag this here and we can put this above this interactions graph we can just change so if I were to go into the transcript tab, we can see previous transcripts, which users have had with their chatbot. Um, this is my own chatbot, which I have not done anything with yet. So it's not published anywhere. So these transcripts is just from me myself. So here we can see um, the conversation between the user in the blue and the bot is white. And here we can see all action. So save for later, delete, and mark reviewed so I have will mark this as reviewed because I have done this and we can see that it's checked here oh here we have another 
so I can check that as well. And if we come into the knowledge bases, we can see which data sources uh, that uh, chatbot is currently running on. And what's cool is that this is the preview on how the client will see the dashboard. So the client can access the knowledge bases. It can add new data sources. So if the client wants to add a new document for new knowledge to their chatbot, they don't have to call us as an agency to fix this. They can just log in here and upload the document and the bot found within VoiceFlow can access this. So this is actually breathtaking and it sets up a new standard for how agencies will work in this space. So under the project tab, you can manage your own projects. With ChatDash, you can add your own voice flow chatbots as well as your own open AIs. However, at current time, BotPress chatbot are not supported, but after talking to the founder, Habin, on Discord, I can add that BotPress chatbots is planned to be integrated and released within the near future. But for now, we have to rely on voice flow. And for the sake of this video, I actually made a voice flow chatbot to try out with the integration. So you can see inside of the projects that we can add new projects and we can edit or delete our current projects. And up in the top right corner, you can see how many projects we have available depending on your plan. So yeah, I will just go into this edit project and I will show you all some of the features. So here we can name our project and we can see a lot of um, options that we can change. And so we have our API key, we have project IDs, we can change the transcript settings, we can upload an image uh, which we that replaces the chat dash logo. We can preview our chatbot here. And what's really important is to see the monthly interact interaction limit. And so we can we can read what it says here, um, which is description for it. So messages limit for this assistant. So there's a limit to how many messages you can send. And once past this limit, the widget will be deactivated and zero is set to unlimited. So the cycle is from the first day to the last day of the month. So essentially, if you have 50 here, it means that um, you can have 50 interactions with the chatbot and it, when it reaches 50 the widget will be deactivated so no more interactions with the chatbot until the end of the month and down in the left hand side you can see deploy share test link so here we can see uh, the links so here is the prototype for my chatbot here is the code to embed uh, my chatbot to a website and here is to embed it as an iframe so yeah here we have our project settings so here is the agency profile and up here you can name your agency and we can add a logo and you can see the subscription renew date you can also see which plan you are on. So you can see that I'm on the premium plan, how many projects you have and how many clients you have. But currently I have no clients and this is only uh, myself, which I added as a test client just to see how it worked. And you can see agency members and you can invite new members to your agency. But now I'm going to show you where the real source begins. And this is within side of the agency white label. So all you need to do for white labeling this program is to add your own domain and name your website something and upload an icon and there you have your fully branded and white labeled website um, which you can then upsell to your customers as a extra fee because this isn't something that everyone uses yet but probably in the future everyone will and we also have a new feature which is the color theme where you can change the color theme of your whole chat dash experience. So the only thing you, you need to do is essentially press a color and you can see that everything that was blue is now orange or purple, purple pinkish or green or light blue or red. 
But yeah, I will select this purple and hit save because I think this is quite cute. And we can also choose our own color. So I want black. Yeah, because everyone knows black is good. So Shapdash offers a great platform with very useful tools for agency owners and their customers. And being able to white label the platform is a really cool feature which I am very pleased with. I also like the aesthetic of the dashboard and all of the useful information which you can find in it. However, the platform does come with a few limitations. To be able to use the white label feature, you need to add your own custom domain. If you don't have a domain, which many of you don't, there is currently no possibility for you to utilize this function. Also, I have experienced a few minor bugs when trying this program out, but props to the chat dash team for fixing them right after informing them. I also missed the bot press integration, but it's coming soon, so I just need to be patient. So at time of recording, Shatdash offers three different plans. A free starter plan with up to three clients and projects. A professional plan for $35 a month with more clients, projects and also editors. It also includes the branded dashboard and allows the custom domain white label. The premium plan however goes for $50 a month with unlimited clients, projects and editors and the option for the white label with the domain as well. But you can also opt for a annual subscription where you save 40% of your total cost. So that my friend wraps up our dive into Shatdash. If you're keen on streamlining your agency chatbot management and offering a seamless experience to your clients, Shatdash is definitely worth checking out. And remember, if you do decide to give it a go, Make sure to sign up using my link down below in the description. Not only will it support the channel, but you'll also be way on your way to elevating your chatbot game. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell because you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. Whether you're here for the insights or for the innovation, I'm here to bring you the latest and greatest. Thanks for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.